Hey everybody, how's it going? Matt here from iOSbetas.com today with a video showing you how to install iOS 7 GM or Gold Master. Now, if you weren't already aware, it was released today on September the 10th, 2013, and this is essentially the final public release or the final release that will be pushed out to the public in a week from today on, I believe it is the 18th of September, next Wednesday. Um, but however, you can install this manually yourself now, and it is essentially the same version. It has no expiry date. It can be run as long as you like. It doesn't require a UDID registration for it. It again is the final version. However, they aren't pushing it to the public till next Wednesday. So however you upgrade, whether you do it next Wednesday or you do it right now, it doesn't matter. It's both the same software, but you do have to get off your iOS 7 beta software. I believe before the end of the month or sometime around then is the expiry date of beta 6 or 7 or whatever one you're on. But again, those all do expire. And if it expires, it's a big headache, so be sure to get off there. You can do it this way or you can wait and do it right through iTunes, the little bit easier way um, in a week from now. So you see here, I have an iPhone 5 over here, and I'm just going to show you how to install the GM on to your iPhone 5 or your iPad. It's all essentially the same as long as you get the correct firmware. Now, one thing to take note that I want to make clear to everyone is this is not an OTA or over-the-air update. There are many people that have been asking, can I do this over the air? If I'm running 7, can I just go into my settings app and just download it over the air? No, you cannot. There's no way to do it. Unfortunately, you must do this manual install if you're going to install the GM. I believe if you wait till next Wednesday and you're running iOS 6, you can install iOS 7 over the air. It'll be a huge download. But if you're running a beta, you must install this through iTunes, unfortunately. So I suggest doing it right now, getting it over with and out of the way. But there is no OTA, so we're going to have to use a Mac or Windows and do it via iTunes. You're going to need the most recent version of iTunes. You can get that at apple.com slash iTunes. And then when you're ready from there, you can go ahead and download your software. Whether it comes in a .dmg or .ipsw, it doesn't really matter. As you see right here, mine was in a .dmg, but if you double click it or if you're on a Mac and you can extract it, you will get a .ipsw file. And essentially that's what you need to run this update. So we're going to go ahead here. And if you get a .dmg file and you are on a Windows computer, I will put a link down below to show you how to convert that because most Windows computers don't have a built-in converter. If you're on a Mac, no worries though, just double click it and we'll open up to this .ipsw file because this is what you need. Again, if you're on a Windows computer, check the description for the video below showing you how to convert a .dmg file if you can't already open it. And then one last thing is be sure, please, please, please be sure that you are getting the correct version of software because I cannot tell you the amount of people who contact me saying, I got the error message, this firmware is not compatible with your device, and that does not mean that you aren't registered or you've done anything wrong. Well, it means you've done something wrong. You have installed the wrong firmware. There are multiple variations of the iPhone 5. There are multiple variations of the iPad 4. You have to, have to, have to make sure you're getting the right one. The quickest way I tell people is flip over your device and read on the aluminum and you will get a model number. So the five, you have all your five C's. Here's your iPhone 5 right here. So I have an AT&T iPhone 5. That is the GSM model. So I'm 428 or 1428. The iPhone 5 on Verizon or CDMA or Global is 1429. Same thing if you're Global for 1429. Please be sure you're getting the right one. If you get the error message, this is the incorrect firmware or not compatible or something along those lines or not supported, you're, nothing's wrong. You just have downloaded the wrong firmware. So please get the right firmware. Don't bug other people. Get the other firmware and you'll be on your merry way. So this is doing on the iPhone 5. The quickest way to do this is again download the software. So you see I showed you I have it right here. Go into iTunes, plug in your device, you want to run a backup quickly, you can back it up now, do all those. We can do a restore, but we can also do a check for update. So if you hold the option key, if you're on a Mac, or shift, if you're on a Windows, so option, check for update. Here it is, iOS 7 GM seed. You can click this, click open, click update, and doesn't matter, again, what version you are on. I'm running iOS 7 beta 6, I believe, right now. Um, and I'll be updating to the GM right now. And you're going to see it's going to extract the software, and we'll just take a look over here on the iPhone 5 and you can see that in a couple minutes here or in a couple seconds actually it will be installing the new software so once that gets going I'll cut out and uh, I'll let that finish up but it's gonna take a couple minutes so just be patient don't unplug it make sure your computer is plugged in or your phone is plugged in you don't want anything dying on you and just be patient with iTunes just don't click around don't touch anything let it do its preparing for update and again one thing to make note here is anyone can install the software like I said it's a final GM release or essentially the same one that will be going to the public um, in a week from now. 
So it's not like you need to be registered or have your UDID registered in order to do this. Uh, it's a public release. I will not post download links to it. If you know where to download it, by all means, then go ahead and get that. But I will not be posting download links in the video description below. So please don't ask. Again, technically, this is still a firmware that would be pirated if you download it. So don't, I'm not going to post those, but if you know where to get them, by all means, go ahead. Or if you're a developer, which you should be, you can download it from there. Um, but this is a video for all people I just wanted to make out to make and help show them where they can get or how to install the GM version because you need to do this. And if you're running beta and it expires, it's a big headache. All right, so we're going to let this finish installing here and then I'll be back once it's done. Hey everyone. All right, so we're back here. And as you can see, we have completed the installation of iOS 7 GM. And now our phone has it installed and we're ready to go. If you want to double check and make sure that you are doing this right, you can go to the about section on your iPhone, check that it's version 7.0. The model number should be 11A465. This is on my iPhone 5 and as you can see here, I have successfully installed the software and I'm good to go. There's not much else needed at this point. You can go ahead and unplug the phone and you are on iOS 7, the final release. So this again, it will be the same one that's going to get released on Wednesday of next week the 18th of September I believe it is and you can either do it there or if you want to install GM right now and you're a developer you can do it this method. So guys thanks so much for watching appreciate everyone following this year and checking out iOSbetas.com if you have any questions you can go ahead and shoot me an email at support at iOSbetas.com and we'd be glad to help. Other than that I'll see you guys in the next video have a good day.